Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Shomlina. I'm a final year MD radiology resident at the Government Medical College in Kolkata. And I try to make YouTube videos to make the lives of NEET PG aspirants a little bit easier. Today is 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd is the examination. And here I am in this video with some last minute tips. I won't be taking a lot of your time. But if you are nervous and need some help, need some tips and motivation, please watch the video till the end. Now, before I start my video, a very important disclaimer is this video does not claim to give you a rank below 100 or below 1000 whatsoever. It will just provide you with some tips that will make sure that you turn out to be the best version of yourself on the day of the examination. Okay, chalo. So a tip that you should start two, three days before the exam day is if you were having a nocturnal study routine, please revert it back to a morning routine because you need to stay fresh in the first half of the day on the day of the examination. Okay, so make sure you're slowly reverting back to a morning cycle. One tip to be followed just one day before the examination is do not make yourself anxious by cramming up information and for that matter even if talking to other people makes you anxious stop doing that maybe you have a friend who will call you up just the night before the examination and tell you ki so and so chapter tumne nahi padha hai it is very important chapter you have to study there will definitely be questions from this chapter are yaar if you are my true friend and if this is such an indispensable topic, you should have informed me about this five, six days before the examination, not the day be just before the examination. So, sirf last day mein mujhe anxiety dene ke liye aur apne aapko reassurance dene ke liye mujhe kyun call kiya? You are not my friend. So, this one thing and another thing, please remember that just because a topic is a so-called important topic does not mean that that topic is pakka pakka going to be asked in the examination. Maybe whatever you have studied will be asked in the examination. Who knows? So the last day is not the time to worry about what are the things I have not studied. No, please don't worry about those things. Also, if the night before the examination you are feeling anxious and are unable to sleep, it's okay, not a problem. Just lie down and try to close your eyes during that while. If you are staying with your loved ones, whether it is your parents or your siblings or even your partner, try to lie down as close to them as possible. That will give you a sense of relief and make you feel better. On the day of the examination, very important, do not go to the examination center with an empty stomach. You are not going to have your ultrasonography done that day, my dear. You are going to work with your brains. You are going to fight with your brains and your brains need glucose. Even if you cannot gulp down solid food, which is very natural in anxiety, in stress, make some smoothies, some fruit juice and drink that. Just don't go there empty stomach. Okay. Also, on the day of the examination, if you are going alone to the examination center, make sure you carry a bag with you. Why I'm telling you? Because you are not allowed to take anything inside other than your admit card or and your ID card. So everything else, including your mobile phone, your purse, water bottle, whatever, you need to deposit it and you cannot deposit it loosely. So take a bag with you so that you can dump those things in your bag and deposit the bag. Now, during the examination, remember, exam day is all about how you are applying whatever you have studied. The syllabus is so big, it is literally impossible for a normal human being to buy heart each and every information. It's more about integrating everything that you have learned, using your common sense, ruling out options that is required for solving majority of the questions. So do not panic thinking that, oh my God, I'm not able to remember this information. I'm not able to remember that information. This happens. You won't be able to remember everything at your fingertips. No, some of the information will come out slowly, slowly as you read the question. So do not make yourself anxious thinking about the fact that I am not able to remember anything right now. No, this, this happens. You know, you have given so many examinations in your life. You know that before, just before the exam, this thing happens. Yeah, I am not able to remember it. Also, while marking the questions, very important, read each and every option because it's very common that they might give very close two options. Okay, so if you have read only one option and straight away marked that and not even considered the other option, which is very close to that option, that is an injustice you will do to yourself. Even if you are very confident on the option that you are marking, please read at least all the options. Second thing, while reading the questions, give 
special emphasis on words whether they are wanting the true option amongst the following or whether they are wanting the false option amongst the following not only that also see whether they are asking all of these are true except all of these are false except because these small words can change the entire meaning of the question and the answer so do not forget to check for the word except also do not forget to check whether they are asking the true option or the false option okay so now two very informal things i'm going to tell you as a friend not as a doctor especially for those of you who remain very stressed so number one is even if you're feeling a little bit feverish even if you're having a little bit of headache you may pop in a pcm 650 and second for the girls who are nearing the dates of their periods please use a sanitary napkin prophylactically and lastly remember this is just an examination that has been conducted year after year after year it is being conducted this year it will be conducted next year again so this examination today is not the end of your life if you are god forbid not able to clear it this time there is always the next time people may say sometimes i also say that first attempt should be the best attempt first attempt is the best attempt but in reality your best attempt is whenever you are ready okay so don't stress out keep yourself calm cool composed as much as possible good night have a nice day and all the best for your examination see you soon in my next video bye bye